If you're trying to break into tech by building a bunch of shallow projects, you're wasting your time. The market is full of developers who've built the same to-do app, the same weather app, and the same portfolio site. But here's the thing. Companies don't care about how many projects you've built. They care about how well you understand the systems behind those projects. Today, I'm going to show you why going deep on one project will teach you more and make you more valuable than building 10 surface level apps. We're talking about domain knowledge, deployment strategies, caching, state management, and everything else that separates a junior dev from someone companies need to hire. For context, my name is Phil. I was a broke, burnt out English teacher and turned my life around with coding and eventually became a senior developer who has earned $300,000 annually for multiple companies generating seven to eight figures in revenue. I run one of the fastest growing tech mentorship programs and I tell all my mentees, just finish one project that you actually care about because that process alone will get you further as a programmer in the long run than any tutorial projects. Gabe with his fantasy soccer app, Jocelyn with her music playlist app, Jay with his senior citizens workout app. These guys were successful and landed six figure jobs because of the things they learned starting and finishing their own personal project all the way to the end. Why death beats breath. When you go deep into a project, you start to uncover the real challenges that developers face in the industry. It's not just about making something work. It's about making it scalable, maintainable, and efficient. For example, let's say you're building an e-commerce app. If you stop at just creating a shopping cart and a checkout page, you're missing out on the gold mine of learning opportunities. But if you go deeper, you'll start asking questions like, how do I handle thousands of users adding items to their carts at the same time? How do I cache product data to reduce database load? How do I deploy this app so it's fast and reliable for users around the world? These are the kinds of problems that companies pay big money to solve. And you don't learn this stuff by hopping from project to project. You learn it by sticking with one project and digging into the details. What you'll learn by going deep. Let's break this down. Here's what you'll actually learn when you commit to going deep into a project. Front end. Beyond components, most people stop at building reusable components. But when you go deeper, you start learning about global state management, Tools like Redux or Context API teach you how to manage data across your entire app. Solid principles. These are design principles that make your code easier to maintain and scale. For example, the single responsibility principle ensures that each component does one thing well, like you should. Performance optimization. How do you make your app load faster? Lazy loading, memoization, and optimizing your rendering logic become second nature when you're solving real problems. So for backend, the real powerhouse backend development is where you learn how systems actually work. By going deep, you'll tackle database connections. Should you use SQL or no SQL? How do you optimize queries for performance? Caching, tools like Redis or Memcached can drastically improve your app speed by storing frequently accessed data deployment strategies, learn how to containerize your app with Docker, set up CI CD pipelines, and deploy to platforms like AWS or Google Cloud. This is the stuff that makes you invaluable to a team. Full stack integration. When you're working on both the front end and back end of a single project, you start to see everything connects. You'll learn how to handle API requests efficiently, secure your endpoints, and debug issues that span the entire stack. This holistic understanding is what separates a junior dev from a senior dev. How to build your own deep dive project. All right, so how do you actually do this? Here's a step-by-step -step plan. Pick a problem you care about. Don't just build something random. Choose a project that solves a real problem you're interested in. For example, if you're into fitness, build a workout tracker that adapts to user progress. If you're into finance, create a budgeting tool that visualizes spending trends. If you're into gaming, build a leaderboard system with real-time updates. Break it down, divide your project into smaller components. For example, if you're building a workout tracker, start with user authentication, then move to tracking workouts, then add analytics to show progress over time. Each step will teach you something new 
and you'll build momentum as you go. Learn just in time. Don't try to learn everything up front. Learn what you need as you need it. For example, when you hit performance issues, learn about caching. When you need to deploy, learn about Docker and cloud platforms. When your app grows, learn about state management and scalability. This approach keeps you focused and eliminates overwhelm. How to position yourself for success. Okay, so once you've gone deep into a project, you need to showcase it in a way that highlights your domain knowledge and problem solving skills. Here's how. Document everything and write a detailed readme for your project. Explain the problem you solved, the technologies you used, and the challenges you overcame. This shows employers that you're not just a coder, you're a thinker. Highlight depth on your resume instead of listing 10 projects. Focus on one or two that demonstrate your expertise. For example, build a scalable e-commerce platform with Redis caching and Dockerized deployment handling 10,000 plus concurrent users. Developed a workout tracker with Redux for state management and real-time analytics. These kinds of details make you stand out. Share your journey, post about your project on LinkedIn or GitHub, share what you learned, the obstacles you faced, and how you solved them. This builds your personal brand and attracts opportunities. If you're just building surface level projects, you're competing with every other junior developer out there. But if you go deep, if you learn how to solve real problems and understand the systems behind your code, you'll put yourself in a league of your own. The big opportunity here is that depth isn't just about getting hired. It's about becoming the kind of developer who can adapt, grow, and thrive in any environment. So stop chasing quantity. Start chasing quality. Pick one project, go deep and watch how much you grow, not just as a developer, but as a problem solver. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.